And topping the news tonight, a shelter has now been opened in Chocolate Township in Marquette County for those people without power. The shelter is at the Chocolate Township Fire Department. They say it can accommodate 50 to 100 people. It will be staffed by volunteers with the American Red Cross. More about power outages in just a moment. First, though, let's go to Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay with more on the freezing rain that spread across the UP early today, leaving some treacherous conditions. Rebecca? It was heavy rain mixed with temperatures below the freezing point, which Local 3 Chief Meteorologist Tom Kippen says caused today's icy conditions. So that rain, when it hits the surface, such as trees, power lines, sidewalks, roadways, it freezes on contact, and that's why we had the slippery and also icy situations across Upper Michigan this morning and early this afternoon. The hardest hit areas were in the central UP. We saw ice amounts today approaching a half inch in spots, even got a report of eight tenths of an inch of ice that fell north of Nagani this afternoon. While the southern UP wasn't hit as hard, the Radio Results Network reports Delta County had icy conditions as well. Similar conditions will continue into tomorrow. We're going to have much colder air move in, cold enough where we are going to see Road conditions continue to deteriorate tonight. Any water, any standing water, any slush on the roadways is going to quickly freeze. When taking evening and morning commutes, it's recommended to slow down, use caution, and if you don't have to travel, don't. Reporting in Marquette, Rebecca Bartlebay, Local 3 News.